Hey YouTube, it's Bible Teen. I'm doing another individual video game review. This time I'm going to be reviewing Safari Hunt from the Sega Master System and this is on the Hang On and Safari Hunt two games in one cartridge. The game was released in 1986 by Sega for the Sega Master System. And this game was the first Sega Master System game to utilize the Sega Light Phaser light gun. Uh, the game itself is basically a clone of uh, the of Nintendo's Duck Hunt, but instead the light gun for it works a whole lot different than the NES Zapper in terms of uh, the flashes on the screen when you pull the trigger. And um, you get to shoot different animals other than ducks in the game. And they added extra animals to it just so that it wouldn't have a, uh, they wouldn't go through copyright infringement uh, with Nintendo. So um, other than that, I'm going to put the, put the game into my Sega Master System, turn it on, okay, All right now it says pull the trigger to start. Yeah, but this is all there is to this game. You just shoot different animals and get points. Okay, let me pause it here for a second. Okay, now, if you can see up on the top of the screen, you have your score uh, right on the upper right corner of the screen. It shows how many points you need in order to go to the next round. And right at the bottom of the screen where you see those little white dots, that's how, how much uh, ammunition you have left. The level ends once you have run out of ammunition. If you don't get past the qualification score, the game is over. But if you get past it, you go on to the next round. There's three different scenarios in terms of the rounds. And they just repeat th themselves. There's not an end to it. But I'm not sure if there's like a round 100 glitch. Uh, right at the uh, end of the game. Just like in Duck Hunt. But other than that. There's really nothing else to say about the game itself. I mean it's just a clone of Duck Hunt. Only that the light gun. It works a little different in terms of the flashes uh, as opposed to the NES Zapper plus the trigger on it. It doesn't make that loud clicking sound on the NES Zapper and it feels more comfortable, but uh, I might do a comparison video sometime in the near future about the, uh, in terms of the uh, NES Zapper uh, uh, as uh, opposed to the Sega Light Phaser and show off what differences they are, what differences they have. But anyway, let me unpause this. And I just
just lost. I think I have time for another game, so... try and make it to the next round. And I did not. Okay, I'm going to try again. I do have one question about this game, and I do think it's kind of disturbing. Um, and that question in terms of the game is, why are you shooting a fish? I mean, it jumps out of the water at an impossible height. Why are you shooting a fish? I, I don't understand that. Um, I mean, why are you shooting a fish? Uh, uh, in, in, uh, in this game, I mean, I, I just think of that as just, uh, Defying the laws of physics, I guess. Well, oh, crud. Well, I'm not going to be able to get to the next round. Um... I mean, I am aiming well at this game, but, you know, this is just a review, and I just wanted to show you this. There's really nothing more to say about it. I'm running out of time here anyway. Well, in terms of Safari Hunt for the Sega Master System, it was a pack-in title along with Hang On. They're both on the same cartridge. Uh, what I would say about this game is, is that I would give it about, uh, four cross, uh, well, no, not four, but three crosses out of five. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a clone of, of Duck Hunt. Uh, I actually like Duck Hunt a whole lot better, even though that Safari Hunt has more variety in it. One thing they could have done with Safari Hunt is they could have cut out a little bit of the cartoon violence. I mean, they didn't have a whole bunch of cartoon violence in Duck Hunt. I mean, it, and I mean, it just looked like, you know, you shot the duck, the dog got it, and uh, right there, the, the duck's expression on his face is going like, oh great, what is going to happen to me? And, and so forth. But other than that, the... It's a little violent in terms of the cartoon violence, and uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I mean, if, if they're making a kid's game, why would you put that in there? Let alone, why would you even try to shoot a fish? I mean, I, I, I don't understand that. But anyway, final rating, three crosses out of five. I gotta get going. Batteries running low on camera. See you later.